Hey, good afternoon, folks. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And this is the Clay Way. If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notifications, sharing my videos, sending me them sweet old thumbs up, and sending me your nice comments. I greatly appreciate them. You got a question for me? Hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook. I'll happily try to answer your automotive related needs. I can't help you with irritable bowel syndrome. So forget that we're actually looking at a Pontiac Torrent. Um, same thing as a Chevy Equinox, GMC Terrain, uh, all sorts of vehicles. I'm going to show you a way to test and see if you have bad wheel bearings. Now, you could have a bad rear end. You could have a bad drive shaft. But there's a surefire way to know if you actually have a bad wheel bearing. Have you ever wondered if you had a bad wheel bearing? You're not sure where it's coming from. I can't tell you how to do that right at this second, but when you're driving down the road and you got a loud howl like that, I'm pretty sure you folks should be able to hear that. If you take the car and you turn it left to right and the pitch changes, it's definitely a bad wheel bearing. I do highly recommend that you jack the vehicle up and put all four tires up off the ground for the reason that you can check every single wheel bearing. If you're running a General Motors, it's very common that their wheel bearings go bad. This procedure that I'm gonna show you here on the lift is gonna help you determine which wheel it's coming from. Okay, so with the vehicle up on jack stands and secure so it won't roll away, you're gonna take one hand and you're gonna put it here on your spring. Now, what you're looking for is something that connects to your wheel. Okay, any object that connects to your wheel, say like your spring or your strut, in this situation, your strut is connected to your wheel bearing, your wheel bearing is connected to your strut, so the energy from your bad wheel bearing transfer up into this spring. And you can simply take your other arm while holding onto this one. So, what's gonna happen is when you're spinning this, you're gonna feel energy transfer and you're gonna feel a vibration in the tips of your fingers right here if you have a bad wheel bearing. Even if you don't have struts on the rear of the automobile, you can still do the same thing and the same procedure with the shock. The energy will transfer to the shock because the shock is connected to the rear end and the rear end is sending that signal to your fingertips. Just in case you're wondering, it was this wheel on the passenger side rear that was bad that all of my noise was coming from. So hopefully the video was helpful for you folks. Give this procedure a try. It only takes a couple moments to jack the vehicle up, put the vehicle in neutral, and spin the wheel and see what happens. You can jack it up one at a time. It doesn't have to be on level ground or anything like that. And you should be able to feel that transferring right through your fingertips. You guys have the best of days. Remember, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. Don't be the first of them. Be the next of you. This is Clay with Clayway. Have a greatest of days. God bless.